Hi, this is Chris Cameron here with Chris Cameron Online on YouTube. And uh, I just had another thought I wanted to share with uh, with you. And 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 one of them, uh, uh, you know, I have these thoughts from time to time and, and I've, I've really learned a lot from other people. And this one is about uh, negative thinking. And it's like, oh, well, we've heard this one before too. You know, a lot of a lot of what I talk about are simple concepts, but it's just like taking a bath. You don't take one one time and you're clean for life, or you don't uh, do a good deed or, or or make a change and then go back to your old habits and you're you're good for life. You know, you have to eat every day, work out every day, um, and and it's a good idea to expand your thoughts. But negative thinking, you know, uh, some people say it's the devil's work, and if you don't believe in good and evil, I mean, you can kind of see it around you. But certainly, negative thinking can take something that could be a fun or adventurous experience and turn it into a real horrible experience or negative experience. And we, each of us have things that we would classify as good and bad that happen to us. But negative thinking can take something that's kind of ordinary, an ordinary inconvenience or an ordinary day-to-day -day operation and make it a real chore make it very boring, oh, I'm so bored, you know, like a typical teenager might do, um, although I know a lot of teenagers that are very positive, um, but, but negative thinking can make you sick, it can cause you to become ill and um, not enjoy your life, that's the biggest thing, and so negative thinking is as powerful as positive thinking. Now with positive thinking, you're not going to be able to say, you know, I'm going to play on the NBA when there's really no physical way that's going to happen. But what positive thinking can do is whatever you're doing, make it better. Make it more fun, make it more rewarding, make you your, uh, you know, your abilities come to the surface. Um, and negative thinking can do just the opposite. It can drag you down, it can make you feel worthless or worth less than you need to feel. Um, we're not all powerful being, beings, we have limits, but a lot of times if we kind of push our limits in a positive way, we can do things that surprise us. And with negative thinking, you have no opportunity to do this. You're busy looking at the bad side, the evil side, the what happens if it goes wrong, I don't dare take a chance. And you know, if you don't apply for the job, or you don't try a business, or look into it or research it, then you definitely won't be successful. So negative thinking can be very self-fulfilling. It means you're less likely to try things. It means you're less likely to succeed. And all because you want to be, quote, safe. You don't want to try something new. You don't want to take a chance. I mean, a reasonably thought out chance. Um, and you want to just do the same thing you've been doing. And even being dull has its risks. Um, a lot of things seem insurmountable until you break them down, but with uh, negative thinking, you won't even have that opportunity. So if you tend to be cynical or, oh, I know somebody that once failed at that, um, you know, there's people that fail for other reasons than they were not able to, to do something. And, and that just because somebody else failed doesn't mean you will fail. Um, so negative thinking definitely put the squash on all your hopes, all the possibilities of your life, and much of the joy in your life, and just make it very dull and gray or even black. So uh, watch out for negative thinking. If you have a habit of being cynical, try not to say things cynical. Like if somebody says, oh, how are you doing today? Oh, I'm getting by. I mean, the first time I heard that, I was shocked as a kid or a young person working in a business. Oh, I'm getting by. You know, it ain't too bad today. Those were really close to negative thinking or completely negative thinking instead of, it's a great day. You know, I have an opportunity to do things today. And sometimes people that are over the top are seen differently. Uh, I know that if you're at the gas pumps and you complain about prices, Hey, all the negative people be right there with you, patting your back. But if you say, oh, it's great, we can buy gasoline, it's the cheapest country in the world um, to buy gasoline, and isn't it nice that we got it available? Um, people look at you like a weirdo, but you know, 
sometimes you don't have to spout those things in front of people. But if you smile and you try to look at things and avoid negative thinking, it can be extremely powerful. So I talked a little longer than I wanted to, but just think about what you're doing and your daily actions. These are little small changes that over time will affect how you live your life and make it much more joyous and rewarding. Hey, thanks for watching. Smash that like button if you like it. Uh, this is Chris Cameron Online. Thank you very much.